uh, AK Steel, ticker AKUS, uh, AKS rather, US, um, $3.18, up 13.17%. Uh, good gains here for the troubled steel maker as it offers a brighter outlook for the coming quarter. And it suggested that losses were at the business would fall sharp, sharply. So they're thinking of a range of around between two and seven cents for the coming quarter, as opposed to uh, a loss of 36 cents per share last time round. So that's good news. But obviously they, for those that don't know the stock, uh, it's fallen very hard uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, so something of a revival perhaps on the cards there. And then uh, Adobe Systems, ticker ADBE, um, company that most people would be familiar with through their uh, PDF viewer uh, software and Photoshop, another one of their brands, but they're trading at 78.60, uh, pre-market down around 2.13%. And the company uh, announced management changes and lighter guidance last night. So a uh, bit of a disappointment as far as the market's concerned, and they could perhaps move lower again if the market were to weaken uh, in proper trade this afternoon. And then as to uh, levels to watch today, uh, we'll start with uh, European cash equities uh, and the FTSE. Uh, 6100 I penciled in now as our key support level, plays 6190 on the upside, but the bias is very much to the downside today. And in fact, the DAX has broken below the 10,000 handles we suggested was possible earlier in the week. So 9940 now, uh, our support level, plays 10,130. It'll be interesting to see whether that actually you know, brings in buyers or not, but uh, obviously it's a crucial level now. Yes, it's psychological if nothing else, isn't it? Um, and then in the S&P, uh, 1980 now uh, on the downside plays 2,000, so gradually trying to claw back uh, the losses that we saw in August, as is the Dow, uh, but that stays at 16,635, plays 16,760. Um, uh, again, will be very interesting to see how that index closes on the week. Uh, Currency-wise, after the, uh, the news from the Fed last night, the dollar weakened. Uh, we can see that most obviously in uh, Euro US dollar, which is now trading around 114.15, or at least that's the level to beat on the downside, plays 114.85 to the upside. Uh, the Aussie dollar has strengthened again. Uh, 72.00 now is our downside level to watch, playing 72.65 to the upside. Uh, dollar yen has slipped back. Um, the yen strengthening against the dollar last night and breaking below that 120 handle cleanly. So 118.90 now on the downside, plays 119.40 on the upside. And cable, um, yeah, it, we, we, we wondered if it would uh, rally on a rate rise. It's done the opposite and rallied on, an, on a no change. Uh, 156.04 on the downside now, plays 156.64 to the upside. What do you think with the currency is that people have actually got fed up now waiting for the dollar, waiting for a rate rise and the dollar to rise, they're actually sort of saying, well, actually, we're just going to start selling the dollar? Uh, I think there's probably, probably an element of that, and there's probably some, you know, some additional book squaring after that, you know, if you were positioned for a rate rise and you didn't get the result you wanted, then it's probably no... It's taken a year, it's been a year of, like, dollar strength, and it's like, yeah. it's not, they're not doing anything, so what's the point? No, that's very, I mean, that's very true. I'm just thinking more of, you know, short-term traders, if they were, if they were long, the unwinding. They would have unwound by now, I'm sure, yeah. Okay.